Hello, my name is David Vinson. Today we're going to explore the Barrier Bay process, an exciting patented technology aiming to significantly improve the economics and environmental footprint of mines around the world. Iron is the most common element by mass on Earth, and where you find iron, you also find high value metals such as copper, uranium and nickel. Current mining practices involve dissolving high value metals by leaching the ores with acid. High value metals have a similar chemical composition to iron, which makes them difficult to extract separately from solution. Mining companies currently have little choice but to engage in expensive separation processes to prevent the iron from fouling the extraction of the metals they want. This is often achieved at great expense to the company through high cost plants and to the environment through large tailings dams. After the high value metals are successfully separated, the acidic solution containing dissolved iron, magnesium and other trace elements is neutralised and stored in costly tailings dams. The Barrier Bay process regenerates the acid and extracts solid metal products from the acidic solution. This presentation explains how the Barrier Bay process can work with existing iron exchange technology on nickel laterite ore. The Barrier Bay technology separates the PLS through a series of chemical reactions occurring over four separate stages. In order to extract nickel and other valuable metals, sulfuric acid is leached through the ore to generate a leachate. The leachate, also known as the pregnant liquor solution or PLS, contains water and free acid as well as dissolved nickel, cobalt, iron and magnesium in the form of metal sulphates. Stage 1 reduces ferric iron to ferrous iron. This makes it easier for just the nickel to be extracted. The leachate is passed through a series of electrochemical cells in one direction, while the recovered acid is sent in the opposite direction. Component cells are made up of a series of half cells, stacked together each with their own anode and cathode. The half cells are divided by membranes that allow only anions to pass through to the other side. The leachate is pumped past the cathodes where, during stage one, the ferric iron gains an electron. The remaining dissolved metals pass through unchanged and the anodes attract the sulphate anions through the membrane. After stage one has occurred, the nickel is removed. Here we show how conventional iron exchange works. The iron exchange process involves pumping the PLS through columns filled with resin. The bead-like resin selectively attract the dissolved nickel in the PLS. The remaining PLS is drained from the columns and fresh sulfuric acid is pumped upwards, washing the nickel off the resin. The pure nickel sulphate solution is sent to a typical electrowinning cell, where similar to the Barrier Bay process, the nickel metal is plated onto the cathodes. This high value nickel metal is then easily harvested from the cathodes for sale. Returning to the Barrier Bay process, the drained PLS from the iron exchange columns is sent onto stages 2, 3 and 4. During these stages, the iron and magnesium are extracted from the PLS resulting in further recovery of acid and water. To recap, the PLS from previous stages continues its cycle past the cathodes in one direction, while the acid being recovered continues its cycle past anodes in the opposite direction.
Iron is plated on the cathodes during stages two and three. As this occurs, sulfate anions are again attracted to the anodes. Magnesium is also plated on the cathodes during stages three and four. As the metals plate on the cathodes, they are systematically harvested for sale. Now we explore how acid is recovered during the process. When dissolved metals in the PLS plate to the cathodes, two important reactions occur at the anodes. Firstly, water is split into hydrogen ions. Secondly, the hydrogen ions react with the sulphate anions to regenerate sulfuric acid. This solution is then pumped from one anode chamber to the next, increasing in acidity until it can be reused in the leaching process. So to summarise, the key economic advantage of the technology is its ability to recycle sulfuric acid for the reuse in the leaching process, as acid can represent up to 70% of the input costs of a nickel laterite operation. Importantly, the cost of power to operate the cells is more than offset by the ability to reuse the acid and sell the metal products. The technology's key environmental advantage is its potential to reduce the size of tailings dams by up to 90% through effectively processing the PLS. The Barrier Bay process could work not only on nickel laterite deposits, but at any mine using or proposing to use acid leach as a means to extract high value metals. This cutting edge technology aims to address a problem faced by many mining operations around the world and is able to significantly improve their economics and environmental footprint. Thank you.